Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Trailbreaker. Now taking a quick look at the package, you got Trailbreaker here in robot mode. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise. Side of the box has Trailbreaker running into action. Back of the box, you've got Trailbreaker in robot mode and vehicle mode. Side of the box, more of that great Transformers Earthrise artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Trailbreaker opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Trailbreaker all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And as usual, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with his blaster and his trailer cover. So with Trailbreaker, there is some assembly required. And how this works, he's got this little slot right there that'll match up to that peg. So you just get that attached like so i get it in here just right and once that's in you have trail breaker all ready to go now trail breaker is a repaint and remold of earthrise hoist just like generation one hoist was a repaint and remold of generation one trail breaker and taking a closer look at the guy he looks fantastic and so G1 cartoon accurate. I love that head sculpt. That looks amazing, especially with the blue visor. That really, really pops. All the same molded details as Hoist. He's got a big, nice red Autobot logo right there on the stomach. And I mean, all in all, a great looking figure. Now, the big difference between him and Hoist, other than the head sculpt and coloring, is the backpack here that you saw me attach earlier. Now he does have this little sensor array right here, which is another repaint from Hoist. Hoist had a white one where Trailbreaker is kind of a gray, and he has this little missile launcher right here, or missile. And what's really cool about these, you can actually flip the camper top back, flip those back for storage, and keep those hidden away if you so choose. Now I like to be G1 accurate, so I flip mine out. If you can get that fingernail to attach. Now, the one issue I have is the missile right here just points straight ahead. If you try to angle it back, it kicks back the whole hood section or camper cover because the notch right here in the camper cover doesn't quite line up with that missile. I wish that was molded over just a little bit, but you know, that is a very minor nitpick. Now, articulation for the guy. The arms can do a complete 360, though they are at an odd angle, and they can go up and down. There is an elbow bend, an elbow rotation, and a wrist rotation, though it is very, very tight. There's also a waist rotation. Legs can go up and down. They can only go back about so far. 
they're going to catch right there. Now there is a knee bend, actually a double knee bend, mainly due to transformation, and a thigh rotation and ankle tilt. So lots of great articulation for this guy. Now his weapon is really cool. It can actually go over the fist to completely hide the fist so it looks like his hand is actually the weapon, just like, once again, in Generation 1. Now here is Earthrise Trailbreaker compared to Generation 1 Trailbreaker. Lots and lots of similarities. You see the little sensor array right here, though with G1, the sensor array is right on top of the head where Earthrise, it's off to the side. Now Hoist, it's Hoist, we'll call him Hoist a lot. Trailbreaker here also has the gun hand, just like right there, but he also had extra attachments. You had a little double barreled weapon. There's the single barrel and the fists, which pop right out. G1 parts for me. Of course, mine has a very loose spring. So some great nods to the original Generation 1 figure. Now let's get Trailbreaker transformed into vehicle mode. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the blaster. Go ahead and straighten out the arms. Then you'll bring this section back here. Keep forgetting what that's called. The camper cover. Bring that back and fold that weaponry back in there. And you're going to bring this section back. That way you have room to flip the head around. So fold that all the way over. It will snap into place. Bring the hood section up like so and now you're going to fold the legs over at the knees and then you're going to want to make sure this red section here tabs into that slot it actually will snap into place if you get it just right there it goes bring this section down and this will actually tab into the back of the knees once again with these earthrise figures it's all about getting everything lined up just right. So those tab in. Now you're going to want to bring the arms out like so. Rotate these panels around and just squeeze in. Actually, I am forgetting. There you go. You got to squeeze the camper top to the main body of the vehicle. Get these swing down. Bring the arms up. So everything will start snapping into place. You've got tabs right there and tabs there you want to line up. There we go. And this is the hardest part of the figure to get this lined up just right. You want to bend the arms so the elbows bend up toward the hood like so. Actually, I think it's the other way around. So yeah, make the fist go toward the back of the vehicle. Bring the hood down. And once everything snaps into place, there you have Trailbreaker in vehicle mode. And I really, really like this. He looks so Generation 1 once again. Though I wish he had some paint applications right there for the windows on the camper top, not to mention the windows here on the side. Now the front window is translucent blue, and you can actually see inside. So I do hate that type of translucent on my Transformers. All the sticker decals are very, very reminiscent of Generation 1. You got the four-wheel drive right there. Great looking front on the vehicle with some translucent headlights. He looks really, really good. Now, weapon storage for Trailbreaker. You can take his blaster and peg it right on top like so. Or, if you happen to have the Centurion drone pack, it comes with this radar dish that goes with Trailbreaker. So just pop the blaster off. Take the radar dish, plug that right in the top, and now you can recreate that one scene from that three seconds of the Generation 1 cartoon. And now for a quick Generation 1 vehicle comparison, here is Earthrise Trailbreaker with his Generation 1 counterpart. And as you can see, lots of great throwbacks to that original Generation 1 toy all the way around. You've got the taillights painted on, Plus that awesome, I always call it Tonka striping. I love it. My one big complaint with the vehicle mode is these rims. I hate how the back rim is just a clip where you've got the nice hubcap there on the front. Now, of course, he does have visible fist syndrome. But other than that, a great looking vehicle.
And there's one final look at Trailbreaker in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Trailbreaker with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Trailbreaker, and Earthrise Hoist. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Trailbreaker is a great figure. I absolutely love this guy, and that's what amazes me. I wasn't that big a fan of Trailbreaker or Hoist, for that matter, from back in Generation 1. But both of their figures in this new Earth line are amazing, and I couldn't be happier. All the Generation 1 throwbacks, plus he's so cartoon accurate, opposed to the original Generation 1 toy. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Trailbreaker. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Trailbreaker belong in your collection? Absolutely. This is a fantastic figure. If you liked Earthrise Hoist, you are going to love this guy. He is so cartoon accurate. So many Generation 1 throwbacks. Plus, he's got a great robot mode great vehicle mode, fun transformation, and everything pegs together perfectly. This is a damn near perfect figure, in my opinion. I absolutely love him. So yes, you see him on the shelf, you pick him up, you are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. And if you're in any position at all to help out the channel, I have YouTube memberships right here, and I also have a Patreon, and I want to thank my newest Patreon, FryK1000. At least I'm assuming I said that right. FryK, thank you so much for your support. And guys, once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!